It's raining outside. We are going to have a short walk. No rain. We are going to check out a new local cinema and finally watch the secret life of the secret life of pets. Expect full review soon. We have spent almost two weeks in St. Petersburg and I bet every single day there was rain. Unlike in London though, the rain usually stops and doesn't take the whole day out of your schedule, which is very nice. Okay, I have seven seconds to cross the street. This is the most the prettiest concrete dispenser I've seen in my life. The biking situation in St. Petersburg is sort of strange. Uh, there are city bikes and there are bikers, but there are no biking lanes and you have to bike on the pedestrian lanes, which doesn't make good for anyone. It's not nice for biking and not nice for pedestrians to work as well. I think it was a huge success. Did you like it? No? I think it was a huge success. It's uh, quite original and all the animations is, and quite original, uh, quite original script as well. Dialogues and uh, yeah, they obviously localized everything to local language. It was great. Another thing, uh, the 3D ticket price is the same as 2D ticket price and uh, quite modest price actually of all on Monday <laughs> in the morning. Since it's about, since it's about to eat, it's this pink looking egg. Go, go, go. The place name is Happiness. It's quite happy looking. Uh, super quick review of the place. We got some cantarellis, and cantarellis was delicious. Although uh, Stanislav complained this uh, portion is too small, otherwise it's really, really nice. Well, not cheap. Wandering around and checking out, uh, just checking different houses and places, architectural exploration. Today is the last day in St. Petersburg and as you can tell we don't really have a proper plan for today. We're just wandering around uh, doing some um, like urgent stuff, uh, family related stuff and then uh, having some coffee and food, maybe a museum. This is a very nice cafe with a very nice coffee and very nice waffles. Thumbs up. We are going to try and catch one of those red, or well, maybe red, trams and get that right on the tram.
noticeable feature of the local trams is there is no stop button, it actually stops on every single stop. No need to press anything, it will stop everywhere. Check out the guy on the corner, literally controls the traffic light. One of the most uh, recognizable places in St. Petersburg is uh, this ship. It used to play a uh, quite prominent role in the uh, famous communist revolution. Uh, it's been actually renovated recently and the, I think they repainted it and I can restore it to uh, former glory. And they also updated a uh, museum on top of it to include all sort of historical uh, data about uh, this ship participating in the First World, World War and uh, Japanese War, all sort of wars. Unfortunately, we're not going to get on top on, on this ship because we are way too late and it's closing at 6 o'clock, so enjoy this view from outside <laughs> next time. to attend the Soviet school, two, uh, two landmarks that become a dream to visit are to see Lenin on Red Square and then to see Aurora ship, Aurora ship, which is a symbol of the start of the revolution against the capitalism. Well, I still haven't really been inside either of those. Now it's just raining and it's windy. And it's cold. It's, that's a proper Saint Petersburg experience for you. In my experience, if you, f if you film people, they behave uh, and, and look accordingly and less likely to break rules, especially if you film the, them with a big prominent camera like this one. I don't think it will help me in a rainy day at high speed. Just give me grab the camera. I got away with a murder! I have a camera. I think the camera will be broken. Quick catch up, we are trying to uh Stanis is trying to pick one of one of these and she's completely lost and overwhelmed with <laughs> options. <laughs> We're catching another film on the legendary uh Land Film Studio, which also has its own cinema. Stanis Lagot her own new thing. Today is officially our cinema, go to cinema day. This particular cinema is sort of special because this is a cinema of land film legendary studio which usually had closed access uh, but apparently times changed just watched an Italian Italian comedy these by the way are actual props from actual Soviet films
this costume uh, from a Soviet sci-fi film of, about a man who lived underwater, could breathe underwater. Uh, I couldn't make it to the actual guided tour in the studio, but we found this. We found this uh, corridor full of props from a legendary Soviet films. That's awesome. Okay, I'm happy enough. Check out the last You can go now. I always, always wanted to get inside of this building and it happened.